Good morning, everybody. A few days back, we turned the tunnel ventilation on in our main cow barn, which is where I'm standing right now. We opened the panels up at the front and we also turned a couple of the fans at the back lightly on. So you can see there's two spooling away there. They're not quite maxed out yet, so they're going pretty light. It is close to freezing outside around zero degrees Celsius right now. So I just wanted to come into the barn and make sure that it wasn't too cold in here. We got ourselves a manual thermostat up here so we can kind of keep an eye on the temperature manually. And you can see there, it's about five degrees Celsius in the barn. So that's pretty much as cold as it's gonna get. We're not gonna go much below zero anymore this spring, hopefully. Could happen, but in a 14 day forecast, it's, it's warmer than that. So if it doesn't go much colder, this type of ventilation will be perfectly fine. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of keep an eye on it, make sure that we didn't put the tunnel vent on too soon. So I was about to pick up a tire gauge for the tire so we can see if it's still around. But Costa came to me here and the uh, wheel loader's got a leaking diesel line. So he's just gonna pull it into the shop here. See, she's leaking right there. That's unfortunate. Why'd you break it, man? Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just grab the case loader and feed with that instead. Yeah, so we used this loader yesterday to scoop Corel 2 out. And I figured we're gonna be scooping those Corels out anyway pretty soon, so I wasn't gonna clean the bucket off. But of course, now the New Holland breaks a fuel line and we need this thing to feed, so I gotta go rinse this thing out. I guess it was spraying out pretty good. <laughs> you want to mark it or you know for sure? Oh, this one, it's this one. Okay. Got the bucket of this thing cleaned out, parked it in the silage pit here for Costa. The thing is, it's uh, the long weekend this week for Easter. And that means I think a lot of stores were closed on Friday and probably for sure Saturday and Sunday. So that's kind of the annoying thing. You got to pay double or whatever to get service on these kinds of weekends. That's always the time that stuff breaks down, but that's how she goes. We'll see if we can get her fixed up. Let's see if we still got 28 PSI in this tanker tire here. Oh, that's not good. So there's exactly 25 PSI in here, which means it lost about three PSI overnight. Well, that sucks. I was hoping it was still going to be at exactly 28 PSI, but it's only at 25. So three PSI within 24 hours. We can definitely work with a tire like that. So you can just pump it up every morning, keep a good eye on it. It is annoying. If we just park it somewhere for seven days, it's going to be flat most likely. But now we do know that it is slowly leaking. So, so we're in the straw pack barn now, and there's some summer ventilation that needs to be switched on in this barn as well. We did the main cow barn there a couple days ago. We gotta take the bats out of all these fans. We got a new set of louvers here. I guess the old ones kind of got ripped out with the wheel loader. Uh, so a bunch of clips are broken on here. These are the clips that hold the bats in. You can see this is still a good one. So that's what the clips look like. And yeah, they just hold the bats in. So. In the other cow barn, we don't use the top clip there. So I was thinking if I just go and swipe those off the 10 fans in the other barn, we can replace all the clips on this fan. And we already ordered the new louvers, so they're here. We're going to put them in after we take the bats out. So I think I'm just going to go and swipe some clips from the other fans and uh, put those on here. Then we can take the bats out.
So we've snagged three of these clips. That should be good. We still have a few, like five or six that are good on that one fan. So that's all we need. I just threw the insulation bats from this fan on the ground there. Hopefully this girl isn't gonna step on them. So we got two good clips on the bottom now. Those were broken. And then we got two good clips on the top. And then we still got a bunch of good clips on the sides here. So this thing will be perfectly fine. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take all of the bats out of both sides here. And then we will grab the new set of louvers out of our shed, put those on there. So we got the bats on the same spot as the other ones from this barn. So these are the new louvers. We'll load these into the truck and we'll check out the broken ones there. So these are the old ones. You can see at the bottom here, they got pretty mangled up, but uh, we figured we'd keep them anyway because there's a bunch of rods in here. You know, maybe we might need that middle shaft or something or some of these break ever on the good ones we can always just grab them off of this thing kind of use it as parts if there's any good ones on there still so no use throwing that away so the last thing i need to do is turn all the fans on we're gonna do the same on that side and then we can turn this tunnel vent on all right, so at the back corners, that's where those exhaust fans are. I got them switched on in the control box for this barn, but they're not gonna really spool up, even with this weather that we're having now. It's gotta get pretty warm in here. And I think that there's quite a few less cows, like for the density of this barn than the main cow barn. There's a lot less cows in this barn, so I don't think they're gonna spool up really quickly very soon because it's just gonna stay a lot cooler in here because there's less cows, but at least we got it set up. It'll stay cool in here now for sure. So you just went to the city and picked up the new fuel line this morning for the wheel loader that was broken. It's right here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna replace it now. Did you get a Timmy's when you were in the city this morning? Yep. You didn't bring one back for me? No, you had it in the office here, in the lunchroom. Gotta Tim save our pennies, yeah. But a double double. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> oh well. I guess I won't bring one along for you next time. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're so we're gonna start it up now and see if that fuel line's good. No, there's another one that's buggered now. So, so right there. So you went this morning to grab one, now I'm gonna go this afternoon and I can grab my own Tim yeah, Hortons. Like the, yeah, yeah, you can get your own Tim Hortons. Okay guys, we're back from the city. Got the new fuel line and we also got ourselves a double-double. All right, we're back at the loader. We're gonna try and put the new fuel line back in this thing. See if we can't uh, mess this up again. Take it easy. <laughs> so what happened today was obviously pretty unfortunate. We replaced one leaking fuel line. That thing was good, and then the next one broke. Uh, it's 
annoying, but those are both, I believe, or the one for sure was an original still. And that loader's got about 13,000 hours, so it's, uh, it's not too bad, I guess, if you think about it like that. Me and Dad are gonna grab some close-up cows from the dry cow pen here. It's looking pretty mucky, should be fun to run through here. Pick the cows out. We gotta clean these corrals out pretty soon. At least the cows still stand solid behind the feed bunks of the concrete here. Then they still got their straw pack. That's always pretty solid. All right, so this week we were pretty successful taking those close-up cows out of the corrals, the close-up heifers as well. Last week wasn't the same story. We were actually chasing them out uh, later in the day last week and the corrals were just as muddy as they are now. Starting to dry up a little bit, but it was a lot worse last week. And uh, before I could do anything about it, when I was running through the corral last week, my boot got stuck in the mud. And uh, before I could notice even that it was off, I planted my sock deep in the cow crap. That's gotta be one of the worst feelings. You just lose your boot and then you stomp it in the cow crap. And then you gotta, oh, it's no fun guys, but we're good today. Kinda better looking out for it today, I guess. But uh, we're also at our shoot system here outside. Usually we would do those close-up cows in our hoof trim shoot in the main cow barn there. But since it's a bit warmer out, we do prefer to do it in our shoot system here outside behind the curls. Uh, it's just a lot more convenient process than the cows out here. It's a better shoot or handles the cows a lot better. And the tub at the back feeds them into the alley a lot better as well. So we got the cows, they're waiting all back there. We're gonna put them into the tub here and uh, load them into the chute. All right, we got all these ladies processed out here in the chute. They're in the pen now. We're gonna walk them up the feed alley into the close-up pen in the barn there on the straw pack. So we got the close-up cows on the straw pack here. Basically what we're doing here, we're taking cows that are due within three weeks from now. We're giving them some vaccines that are gonna keep the calves a little bit healthier. It's gonna keep the cows out of healthier. And we're also giving them the collars if they need it. We're trimming their tails. We're basically getting them ready for their lactation when they calve and start to be milked. And they also get some better um, supplements or some close-up supplements in the feed here. So taking them out when they're three weeks away from calving allows us to give them a special ration, which is gonna allow them to calve in a lot healthier. And uh, they get those special supplements in there. And it's a better way to manage the close-ups. If you can keep them separate, give them some separate feed and do it like that. So that's what we're doing or what we just did. You can see this lady here, it looks like she missed that brush out in the corral. Now she's she's back with her brush, so that's good. <laughs> that is gonna be it for today's video. I think tomorrow we're gonna do a lot more manure hauling. We kind of figure if we clean the front of those corrals out, it's gonna dry out a lot quicker and that's gonna allow us to actually clean the entire corral out, the straw pack and everything out, if it's not so muddy. So uh, that's probably what we're gonna be doing in the next video. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys there. Thanks for watching.